What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman. Today we are doing something that's a little out of my element, our element, whatever you want to consider it. Got Dustin with me today. Gonna do some freshwater fishing. I know you couple, couple of you guys have asked about it before if we go um, sockele fishing or crappie fishing, whatever y'all call it. That is what we're gonna be doing today. We're going out in the basin to try to get on them. Use a couple little tube jigs, little corks, just go around, trolling around, see what we can come across today. Uh, we're probably about maybe 15, 20 minutes away from the landing right now. So I'll get with you guys once we're back in the water and hopefully we can get on a, a few fish for you guys today. And hopefully the few fish are not catfish. So stay tuned. <laughs> It's a bass. Bass or a shoe pick? Bass. Big old, big old bass. Big old bass. <laughs> big old bass. <laughs> I think like a pound and a half. Oh, we're going in the tree bad. Huh? Going in the tree bad. Boom, baby. <laughs> Got him. Guess what? Just because I ain't catch nothing else today, open the chest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, I can't. I, got, I can't let go of this tree. I was going to whip me in the face. The slap daddy produces again. Oh no. She means they keep the ink on the side limit too. Well. That's one. Oh, already. Already. He's on him. That's a good one. That's a big broom. Oh my God, it's a big broom. My goodness, that is a brim and a half. Wow. That is incredible. You want to keep them, I'm assuming, huh? That is a sizable brim. That's the quality type brim we're looking for right here. I mean, look at that. I'm put them next to my hand. That's a hand-sized brim right there. So we definitely gonna put them in the chest, along with the gagala in the base. There he is. The gagalas. Gagadala. You're not keeping them, huh? A little bit too small. It's crazy how big the mouth is on these tiny little fish. And that fish ain't, ooh, something got them good too. You know they call it everywhere else, a rock bass. Well, that ain't no rock bass. That's a goggle out here in Louisiana. Bass. Bass. Put him in the chest, coach. Got him, coach. About a pound. We'll get 10 piece, huh? Huh? Like 10 piece. Yeah, I don't think we'll get that much. Hey, boy, I got a live crawfish antenna sticking out his mouth. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But if you can see the crawfish antennas, he must have just ate a crawfish. So, but if you want to keep him, we go ahead and keep him. <laughs> And that man, you eating that, not me. That's where I want to be. There he is. Come on. Bass. Too small. Boy, that's too small. I think I got morals, then. This ain't marshman mass on <laughs> Little bass a bit too small to keep, so. If I can get him out, boy, he's hungry. There you go. Small little 
largey, way too small to keep. So we'll let them go and you're gonna grow up and catch them next year. Or Dustin gonna catch them next weekend and eat them. Coming back, dude. Oh, that's him right here. There it is. Little brim? Nice brim. Little brimski? A little nice little bull brimski. Don't poke me. Another nice hand sized brim right there for the chest. Ay ay. Stuck me, coat. We hit that log came off, the fish about to explode on it. Tree. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't get on them right here, the way that tree would keep us in one spot. Got him, coach. That's a dark goggle eye. My God, they don't. Hold on. Barely hooked too. Too small, huh? Way too small. We'll let him go to see another day. Look at the red eyes on him. Crazy. Nice little goggle eye. Oh, oh. Oh, bass. Oh, he's barely hooked. Get him in the pool. Barely hooked. Skin hook. Barely skin tag hook. You want to keep him? Oh, yeah. probably about a pound. Yeah, Something like that. Ain't nothing wrong with filleting a little bass. If anything, it's better to keep the small ones to eat. And then letting go of the, the big four or five pounders that you actually catch. Let them go to, because that's your spawning bass. Yeah, she does, Bruh. <laughs> it's done. Check it out, G. We got the foul up. Check it out and put it in the boat. Hold on. Don't hit a button. Well, our trip just <coughs> trip just took a turn for the worse. Whole trolling motor gone. <laughs> Get away from me! It's still hanging on by one thing. There we go. The trolling motor is gone. Oh, that's a big brim. Hey, what's going on here? Don't fuck it. It's a hammer. How? <laughs> he caught a brim. As I'm oh, picking up the, brakes, I <laughs> the trash on the trolley. Hey, you take the trolling motor. You got to operate the, uh, the, the powder? The what? You got to operate the powder. If you say so, bro. Front of the right, hold it. That's a nice Bass. Bass. Big old, big old goggle on. Oh, Bass. no. Is that a goggle on? Yeah. Oh, my. You got it on camera? I didn't get the fight on camera, but I just turned it on. Oh, that's a hammer goggle on. Right. Ha. Ah. Hammer goggle on. Boy, wait. All right, all right, all right. Boy, that's a big guy. That was like a bass. Open the chest, boy. Well, guys, we're struggling currently with no trolling motor. 
grabbing on the trees and everything else. You're trying though, man. And all we're using is this little jig here with a little, he's using a different color, but a little right. tube jig. Already. Another one. What is it? A sakale. Sakale, sakale. We finally got the, the, the one we've been looking for. <laughs> the master sakale. Oh, man. Look off the trees, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got him on it. So that tell you right there, the trip ain't all failed. Because, uh, <laughs> this made losing my trolling motor worth it. <laughs> An inch, six inch sakale? Oh, man. Incredible. That's a big goggle, like, good lord. Ah. That's a good one. Big old bag. Big old bag. Think a half a pound. Hey, he getting eight. You put him in the box. Really? Yeah. Well, nice little half pound bass. He said he want to eat them, so we're just going to get blasted away in the comments. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm going to argue back. <laughs> I'm an internet troll. They don't know. Yep. Oh, caught him. Really? Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Dude, look how dark he is. <laughs> oh, man. Huh? Hold on, let me get him unhooked real quick. Let me get this little goggle on hook. He's too small to keep throwing back. But look at the hammer size on that brim. That is insane. Big old boy right there. That is. We found the color they like. And that's all important. We catch them for every cast now because the color. Put them in the chest. Yeah, as this little color I was using earlier, I showed y'all I was using the, uh, the white tip with the chartreuse uh, bottom. But there's red. Red and chartreuse is what they like. As to be. Oh, got him. Oh, that's a big one. I can't. I'm stuck. It's a big one. <laughs> Let him go. I got him over. That's a big one. Watch, I stuck on the uh, tree. I can't see him. All right. I'm reeling him in. Oh, oh I got to tangle up right here. I'm reeling him in, and he's already in the boat. That's a nice goggle. Hey, you got to push all the pallets. I can't do All right, hold on. Let me unhook this bad boy. Oh, he wasn't coming off nowhere. Look at the size of that goggle. That's insane. That's quality fillable goggle. And I'm in a tree. Let me let me put him in the chest real quick. Chest looking good, bro. I have to cast for him. Let's go. Hey. Oh, that's it. That's him right there. Guaranteed. Guar guaranteed. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Slab on them. Slab daddy brim. Boy. <laughs> Slab daddy brims. They name fishing rods after fish like this. Ice chest is looking nice right now. I mean, the brim are incredible. Uh oh, I got a. Oh, missed up! There he is. <laughs> oh no! I'm in the tree with the. Boy! I really can't shoot in the tree, G. All right. My goodness, the struggle is real. Hey, we do what we can what we got, G. Pick your pole up before they get caught in a tree. <laughs> you keeping him? Oh, yeah. Nice little goggle eye. He's a keeper, so he's going to go in the chest with the rest of them. Chest is smelling ripe. Huh? Hey. Cool! That's going to be him. No, no, no. Got him, Cole! <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> Long distance. That's a nice one, bro. Long distance, okay. yeah. Long distance. <laughs> Raise this all day, bro. Raise this all day. Watch, look. Long distance stuck in the tree. Watch, coming up. <laughs> Long distance goggle. Collect call from your momo. 
That's what I'm talking about. Hit that forward. You can put us right in that tree again. Oh, oh, got him, coach. Nice little bassy. Nice little bassy lassie. Yep. Quick release. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. It is the next morning. Uh, it's pretty early. It's about 6.30 in the morning right now. I have to be a little quiet because my wife is still sleeping. I don't want to wake her up. But I hope you guys did enjoy that video yesterday. It's a little bit change of pace from all the, the catfishing we have been doing. Um, didn't get on the sockle like we thought we were going to, but the gagala and brim and the bass were a nice uh, turn of events for not catching sockle. So I didn't mind. Um, we enjoyed ourselves for having to deal with, sh like, extreme wind blowing us all over the place losing the trolling motor about two hours into the trip and having to, t to paddle almost everything and use the motor to actually troll us along the trees but i did mark that spot i think i'll be back pretty soon because i'm, I'm pretty sure them fish are going to be there for a while uh, the water's really low so i'm thinking that water coming out of the woods is going to keep them fish there uh feeding and spawning on them trees like we were catching them so but like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy. I know I haven't posted in a while. Um, it's been kind of iffy with some fishing trips I've been having. I didn't want to put out content that wasn't going to be quality content for you guys. Um, and then also, news alert, next week I am leaving to go back to Gulf Shores, Alabama. Um, I will be fishing every probably couple days or so. I'm going to try to get out there as soon as much as I can um, try to make a couple videos for you guys hopefully the fishing's a little bit better than the last time we was there and hopefully no storms mess up this trip um, but like I said not to ramble on I hope you guys did enjoy this video and as always stay tuned for another episode of Louisiana